start spreading the news. Jeremy Lin is back in New York, but this time with Brooklyn. So, what's up guys? It is the T-Ball, and I am back with another video. Before I start, if you guys could hit that like button and subscribe for more Jeremy Lin and basketball videos, I will be doing daily Jeremy Lin videos throughout the season that includes predictions, post-game analysis, um, you know, a variety of like random Jeremy Lin news. You name it, I'll definitely do a video for it. So, today I will be uh, opening this video up with the question, will Linsanity make a comeback with the Bro Brooklyn Nets? So, it really just depends how you want to describe Linsanity. I mean, you want to describe it as a guy who averaged 28, I mean, you know, like 28, 8, 4, and 6 turnovers, um, dominates a ball, finds open teammates, great ball movement, 7-0 winning streaks, um, or it really just, you know, it just depends. So, to answer that question, yes and no. So, Lin, since his Knicks days, has come a long way. He's a, definitely a better player, more efficient, and he's definitely not looking to score as much as you, as many people think so. Like, because he's, the past season with uh, Charlotte, he's been described as the sixth man, um, the scorer off the bench, or playmaker off the bench, but really, um, he's just looking to pass a lot uh, now. So, definitely different from... His Nick days um, and the whole insanity that thing, where um, he was definitely just looking to score a lot because um, during that time there wasn't many uh, scores on that team with Melo, Stoudemire, um, and others out. So, and uh, yeah, he also seems like he wants his teammates to score a lot as well. And um, obviously, Lin is like a real team player. He's he's a great guy and everything, and he loves seeing his teammates succeed as well. So. To my next point, I think he will definitely average less turnovers than Lin Sanity, and I think that is a given. During Lin Sanity, uh, Jeremy Lin, he averaged like six turnovers a game about. It was pretty bad, um, but that's mainly because he was a young guy. Um, he had, you know, the task of being the, the point guard, handling the ball like almost every, every possession and had like a usage rate of like over 30 during that time. So um, now in Brooklyn, obviously he's older, he's wiser. Better player, he, he, he has better ball handling skills, um, he's a better decision maker, and, you know, just an overall better player. So, um, yeah, and that leads me to saying, you know, he's a complete player, as I said before. Um, back in the Nick days uh, during Linsanity, Lin, well, critics really said Lin couldn't drive left, couldn't use his left hand, he wasn't a good defender at all, but... Now we see four years later. I mean, Lin, Lin can obviously drive left. I don't know if you saw, if you guys watched that um, uh, Miami Heat Charlotte Hornets playoff series. Lin was just driving left, right, and he was just scoring, drawing fouls on Whiteside, Wade, Dragic. I mean, um, definitely shows that he can use both hands, and he's and he's just and overall he's just a great driver, and um, definitely. He's a good defender now. Not maybe not great, but he's definitely a good defender. Uh, from last season's statistics on ESPN, I forget which one, but it's like um an overall metric of defense for point guards. Lin was in the top twenty, so he's definitely in a, in my opinion an above average point guard. And you know statistics show that he is uh I mean above average point guard defender. So um and also. Back in New York, Lynn had trouble shooting the three. Um, that was another one of his main flaws. And um, obviously, he's been improving his three-point shot from New York to Houston to L.A. His three-point shot just kept getting better and better. But then when he um, came to Charlotte, he changed his form up a little bit, wanted a quicker release, and um, his three-point shooting percentage dipped a bit. But I think next year with, um, you know, more repetitions over the summer, um, getting used to his new style. I definitely think Lin is just going to kill it with the um, uh, three-point shooting this year. And don't be surprised if Lin shoots over 38% from three uh, next year. Also, Lin will handle the ball a lot uh, with Brooklyn next year, which is similar to what happened in New York. And um, yeah, he's just going to you know, have all the point guard duties, like what he, <laughs> duties, um, which he hasn't had. 
since uh, that was really bad. But uh, since he had, since New York, um, obviously in Houston, Harden hogged the ball. I mean, not well, he kind of did. Um, and he, he needs the ball in his hands to be a great offensive player, which he is a good offensive player. But defense is lacking, to say the least. Um, but that's besides the point. In um, L.A., Kobe, I think we all know Kobe, um, you know. Next, we'll just go to Charlotte, and Kemba was basically the main point guard, and, you know, he was, uh, Lynn signed up with Charlotte knowing that uh, Kemba was going to be the main ball handler, obviously. Um, Kemba has a four-year, $48 million deal, while Lynn had only a two-year, uh, $2 million a year deal, which obviously he opted out. Of, and he had to play most of his minutes. I think it was 63% of Lynn's minutes last year were at shooting guard. So, you know, this is definitely Lynn's great opportunity to shine in as a starting point guard and show the league that he is an above, or should I say, elite, in my opinion, or what I think he can be a uh, point guard in this league. So, um, let me see if there's anything else. Um, yeah, so obviously, hopefully, there's a lot of. Uh, ball movement next year in Brooklyn with uh you know the the players seem pretty unselfish they seem very humble and there's not no big egos on the team and hopefully they all um you know just share the share the ball you know what I mean get each other open shots and you know I really think they could really succeed if um they buy into Kenny's plan probably there won't be uh uh, too many 7-0 winning streaks like there was in New York with the Knicks for Lynn. But I definitely think Lynn can uh, lead them to, you know, some mini winning streaks at least. So, that's a wrap. I definitely think Lynn will play great in Brooklyn this year. Definitely going to average, you know, I say maybe like a 20.8 assist guy. You know, some people, you guys can disagree with me. Tell me in the comments below. And I think um, with Lynn's popularity... He's on the rise now back in New York, and I think uh, he definitely does have a great chance to be a starting point guard in the um, uh, NBA All-Star game for this upcoming season. So that's a wrap. Thanks guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed and want more Jeremy Lin and basketball videos, hit that like button. Tell me in the comments below and subscribe. You know, as I said before, throughout the season, I will be doing je daily Jeremy Lin videos. And that's a wrap. I'll see you guys later, and um, have a good one. Peace.